Uh, so some of these other labs have specialized in different things uh, relative to safety, like Anthropic, for example, with interoperability. And um, um, do you have some sense of where uh, you guys might have an edge whereas so that, uh, you know, now that you have the frontier model, you're going to yeah. scale up safety where you guys are going to be able to put out the, the best frontier research yeah, on safety? Yeah, I think, you know, well, we, we helped pioneer RLHF and other sure, things like yeah. that, which can also be obviously used for performance, but also right. for safety. Um, I think that... Uh, um, you know, a lot of the self-play ideas and these kinds of things could also be used potentially to to auto test uh, a lot of the the, the the boundary conditions that you have with the new systems. I mean, part of the issue is that um, with these sort of very general systems, uh, there's so much surface area to, to cover, like about how these systems behave. So I think we are going to need some automated uh, testing. And, and again, with things like simulations and games environment, very realistic environments, uh, virtual environments. I think we have a long history in, in that and, and, and using those kinds of systems and making use of them for, for, for building AI algorithms. So I think we can leverage all of that uh, history. Um, and then, you know, around at Google, we're very lucky we have some of the world's best cybersecurity experts, hardware designers. So I think we can bring that to bear in, in you know, for security and safety as well.